I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my trim and terrific kitchen. Do I have a rush hour recipe for you today? It's really from my book, Kitchen 101, and it is a true Kitchen 101 recipe. Three ingredients. You have reduced fat crescent rolls, butter, and Italian seasoning. Doesn't get easier than that, and oh my God, this is such a guaranteed hit. Let's get started. So we have a bunt pan, and if you have one of these that are sort of different shapes, you can use whatever you want, so it gives it a little flair. So we have our Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, and I'm gonna show you what to do with that. You just sort of cut them in half, and you don't do the triangles, you leave those together, and roll them up. So that's so simple, and don't get caught up in if they're neat or not. But you start with butter on the bottom, just a little butter, and it gives it that golden brown topping. We're just gonna layer. And look, I could close my eyes and layer it. So do not worry about how it's doing. All right, we're gonna put them like this. And I could do it with Italian seasoning, um, which makes it really good, and I'm gonna do half. And now Italian seasoning, I love to give you tips, because don't feel pressure in the kitchen. If you don't have Italian seasoning, use like a combination of basil and oregano or whatever spices you have, or you can leave it out and just call it Italian, I mean, pull-apart bread instead of Italian pull-apart bread. So we're gonna continue layering. I have to tell you a story. My daughter made this recipe and she had lobster and steak one night, big dinner party, and made this, and this was the show. This stole the show, it really did. You wanna bake this at 375 for about uh, 20 minutes. I usually cover it with foil at the end just because it gets too brown. This is one of these recipes that's a guaranteed hit. Uh, the recipe is in the link below, and I would recommend, this is serious, keep these ingredients in your house all the time. So next time you have to bring something, homemade bread and hot out of the oven, that's the only catch. You can't eat it until it, you take it somewhere. Well, I can't wait to dig in. Uh, you could also sign up for my monthly menu newsletter, so you'll get lots of great recipes. And again, this is a Kitchen 101 recipe. The easiest of all my recipes are in this cookbook. See you in the kitchen. Mm, this is so good. For this recipe and a discount code for all my cookbooks, just check the link below.